Hey, g'day guys, welcome back to another video on Steel Nation Australia. And this one, we're doing a question and answer or mailbag segment. Uh, I asked you guys the other day on the community post to put in some comments, and I got some good ones, and I want to talk about a few. Uh, so let me do them at random. I can't remember what I, what I brought up, but uh, here we go. So segment says here, in your time zone, what is the earliest, latest you stayed awake to watch a game live? So how it pretty much works is in Australia, uh, American 1 p.m. games early in the season, I have to get up at, at uh, 3 a.m., right? So early in the season at uh, 1 p.m., I need to get up at 3. Then as the weeks progress on, your 1 p.m. games, I have to get up at 4. And then as it goes into November, I have to get up at 5. So 4 p.m. games are then around 7 or 6. And the prime time games are around my lunchtime. So that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. All right, next question. What are your predictions for next season? Do we make the playoffs? Does Kenny look a lot better? Do we still have Claypool? Now, we just got breaking news at the time of recording today that Chase Claypool has been traded. I, for one, am damn happy. But Jason Wolf, thank you for the question. What are your predictions next season? Do we make the playoffs? Does Kenny look a lot better? Um, okay, next next season, it's, it's, it's got to be interesting because it depends where we finish this season, in my opinion, right? Yes, we're two and six. We're not a good football team right now. We're in the bye week. Um, we had one of the hardest schedules leading up to that. Now we have one of the easiest schedules being 20th, I believe, in the league. So next season, it's very hard to pick it. It really is. Um, because we haven't even finished this season yet. We don't know what players we're going to keep. We don't know um, if guys like Terrell Edmonds will come back again. You know, We don't know some situations with this Pittsburgh Steelers team. Like They, they just went and traded... Claypool, like for a second. So um, there could be a term used out there, maybe rebuilding, uh, possibly. I kind of like see it not rebuilding because rebuilding, you got to knock everything down, but maybe it's retooling or getting players, you know, back in. But to me, they've got to build around Kenny Pickett. Uh, and to the second part of your question, do we make the playoffs? Well, my heart says yes. And yeah, you know what? We do. We do make the playoffs. And does Kenny look a lot better? Um, yeah, I think I think he's still got time in, in reality too. Kenny Pickett still has nine games to go in this season. So that question is hard to answer because I think we've still got a we still got a long season to go. We've still got nine games to go for Kenny to turn it around. All right, next question. We have which still players are your favorite to watch? I think Troy, Ben, TJ Hines were my favorite players to, to watch. Uh can't wait for what to come back after the bye. Thanks, Dylan, mate. Uh, big time. So right, uh, okay. I'll, I'll go back first. So who, who who are my favorite players to watch? Pittsburgh Steelers. I would probably say Hines up there. He's up there. Um, of course, Big Ben. You know Troy. Uh, but one of my favorite players to really watch was Debo Harrison. I've got his jersey. Um, I don't know. Is it hanging up there? No. Where is it? Yeah, I've got I've got Debo's uh, Debo's jersey. I think it's hanging up there. Anyways, I've got his I've got his jersey. Uh, Debo's awesome. Uh, he was so fun to watch. Troy was fun to watch. Uh, I was a big fan of Lawrence Timmons. Uh, big snack too. You know, 2004, 2008 defense. All those kind of guys, right? Brett Kiesel, uh, Ike Taylor. Um, you know, all those kind of dudes. Um, you know, the, the only one I wasn't really a big fan of, and maybe because he's a because he's a media personality now, is Ryan Clark. I did like the way that Ryan Clark played the game. I'm just not a big fan of Ryan Clark as a, you know, broadcaster, let's say. But my overall favorite player was Debo James Harrison. He was fantastic. Okay, then we've got two more questions. Two more questions. Uh, Gene Smith says, I really want to pile on the rebuild question. We all love our Steelers, but change is always different. I talked about this the other day. I don't know if the Steelers are going to rebuild completely where they knock the whole house down, but there certainly does need to be some change. I do believe there needs to be change at the, you know, the coordinator position for the offense. Um, and there possibly could be change at the head coach because, yes, Mike Tomlin, I'm a Mike Tomlin fan. He's never had a losing season, but change can be good for this Pittsburgh Steelers team. So can Mike Tomlin turn this around and really, really improve with a rookie quarterback, um, a top defense, and a struggling O-line and a struggling running game? Not sure, right? Not sure. But... Sometimes change can be good for an organization. But on the other flip side, sometimes change can be really bad. All right. Go and firing someone doesn't solve the issue. It doesn't. Our last question, I believe this is pretty similar, from Mike 
Uh, Mike says, if Art Rooney decided to shake things up on coaching staff, who would you like to see come in? He says, I kind of like the idea of Dan Campbell as head coach. That's the Lions head coach, by the way. Josh McDaniels is OC and the guy in Dallas. I have no idea who the guy in Dallas is. And I'm glad you don't know the coaches' names either, or at least that guy. Because I, I, the one, the one guy I thought, right, the one guy I thought that might be a good fit for the Pittsburgh Steelers was uh, Byron Byron Leftwich, the, the quarterback who used to play for the Steelers as a backup. He's offensive coordinator for Tampa. I thought he might be a good fit for the Steelers to maybe play that fast, you know, um, passing game with Kenny Pickett. And getting the ball to to Pickens and DJ, and hopefully Calvin Austin next year, right? And we have Stephen Sims at the moment, Miles Boykin. I thought he might be a good fit as offensive coordinator because you know what, anyone's anyone's better than Matt Canada, absolutely anyone's better than Matt Canada. But I thought Byron Leftwich because he's working with Tom Brady. You know, if he's working with Tom Brady, the goat, then he can he can work with anyone. So it'd be cool to see someone like that who has played the position as a quarterback to come in and teach. Kenny had to, to to grow his skills. I just don't see that with with Matt Canada. I really think Matt Canada is limiting uh, Kenny Pickett. Now, head coach, I'll tell you right now, I have absolutely no clue, no clue who what head coach should come in. Right, completely honest. I don't look into that stuff too much. Um, I'm not a coach myself. I can't even. I couldn't even name 32 coaches like in the NFL. I can name a lot of players and name teams. Can't name them. Don't know. But all I do know is if the Pittsburgh Steelers were to cut or fire Mike Tomlin and Mike Tomlin still wanted to work in the NFL, he would have a job in 10 minutes. A team would pick him up in 10 minutes. So I don't know who they would who they would get to replace him, but he would have a job in 10 minutes. Now, defensive coordinator, um, here's one for you. I don't, I don't know why this, this makes sense or not, but it, it won't make sense. I always liked that guy for the Jets, Robert Salah, the, the Jets head coach, but he wouldn't demote himself to defensive coordinator. Or possibly you could promote uh, Brian Flores as well, as well to defensive coordinator. But Terrell Austin this year has, has you know, needs to wake up. They're allowing way too many points. Uh, with the Eagles game, they allowed four passing touchdowns from Jalen Hurts, and he's meant to be a secondary coach. Right, and Brian Flores is there, and Mike Tomlin's there. They're meant to be defense guys. So if that answers your question, I uh, hope it does. And anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you for checking out another video. Uh, the big news today or yesterday or whenever I post this, Chase Claypool's gone. See you, Claypool, mate.